I can't believe the last episode of Setup Wars already has over 200,000 views, you guys. That's crazy. And it's only been out for a week. I think that's gonna be like the most watched episode on Setup Wars eventually. And you guys have like the best sense of humor. It's really cool for you to like relax, not take things seriously and have a laugh with me while watching the video. For those that were upset at me for doing the video, all I have to say is don't take life too seriously. It's, it, you know, it's, sometimes it's okay to let loose and have fun. I even said in the beginning of the video, which I think a lot of people missed, was don't take anything I say in the video seriously because I'm doing it for fun. But I get it. I mean, there are people out there that just don't know how to have fun. But since most of you guys really enjoyed that episode, I decided to bring back the worst setup edition and I'm gonna be doing it every 10 episodes. So the next one will be Setup Wars episode 50. So if you guys are excited, make sure to leave a like. All right, I think this is officially the longest intro for Setup Wars. So without wasting any more time, let the Setup Wars begin. As always, everyone's gear for their setups will be linked down below, as well as anything I recommend in this episode. So with that said, here are your five lucky contestants. We have Eric, Jamal, Johnny, Loke, and Yusman. Congratulations for making it to Setup Wars episode 41. Starting the show, we have Eric and his very clean dual display setup on top of the Alex add-on unit. We also have two Acer 23-inch monitors, a Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard, and Corsair mouse pad. Cable management is on point with that Signum rack, and the PC powering this setup has a 4790K that's overclocked to 4.4, and a GTX 970 GPU inside the Fantix and Thu case. The thing about these simple minimalistic setups is that they don't have a lot going on, and it's pretty easy to keep it clean. Looks like you got everything under control, nothing I can really recommend. Thank you Eric for entering. Next up we have Jamal and his single 32 inch HP monitor setup that's resting on top of a monitor stand that he created by using a shelf and two optical drives. I'm impressed already. Beneath that we have the Razer Black Widow Stealth keyboard and Logitech G6500 mouse on top of the Goliathus extended mouse pad. We also have a pair of Logitech Z4 speakers near the back and a SteelSeries H headset resting on the monitor. Cable management is pretty good from what I can see. I'm not sure what that white piece of furniture is doing there, but I'ma assume it's helping keep the wires hidden. The PC that's powering the setup has a 4690K paired with a Gigabyte GTX card. Unfortunately, he didn't write down which card it is, so I don't know what that is. Really clean setup overall, I got nothing to recommend. Thank you, Jamal, for entering. Johnny is next up with two 24-inch BenQ monitors, a Logitech wireless keyboard, and Logitech MX wireless mouse. Also on the desk, we have some Edifier C6XD speakers, a Blue Yeti mic, and a 12 South MacBook stand off to the right side. Off to the left of that setup, we have a 32-inch Sony Bravia TV, and on the opposite side, we have an ancient Mac that he uses mainly for looks. Underneath the desk we have an Xbox One with a controller charging dock and cable management is not the best but you do have a lot of crap connected so I won't give you any hate. Regardless every situation can be remedied. I'm glad you at least used some type of raceway to run the wire through and a rack to keep most of that stuff off of the ground. I also like the fact that you mounted your Apple TV against the Alex drawer and the same with the other side. We have several battery chargers and an EBL charging bay which by the way if you guys missed my cool tech of December you need to watch it because these things are rechargeable batteries and they are awesome. I'll have a link below if anyone is interested. I also noticed you have a USB extension on your desk which is used to connect your MX Master receiver. Since there's really no point in having that in plain view, what you can do is add some 3M tape on the bottom of that and stick it either behind your monitors or better yet under your desk. Another thing you can do is pick up a drawer that you can install under your desk to keep your tablet and other miscellaneous stuff that you don't use often. There's definitely a lot going on but overall a really sweet setup, thank you Johnny for entering. Loke is next up with a triple monitor setup mounted against the wall. We have three Asus 24 inch monitors, a Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard, and Naga Chroma mouse. The speakers are the Hitachi AX M137s and to complete the Razer setup, we have a Razer Kraken Pro Chroma headset. We also have the Audio-Technica 2020 mic hooked up to the Rode boom arm and I really like what you did with the monitor cables. Hiding them on the top means that you don't have a lot of wires running down to the floor. Pretty good job with cable management under the desk although there are some wires still hanging around. The PC that's powering the setup has a G3258 that's overclocked to 4GHz and a GTX 960. Okay first off you can get that CPU easily to 4.3GHz especially with that cooler and secondly you should probably move that graphics card to the first PCIe slot for slightly more performance. 
Not sure what a random box of Power Beats is doing on your desk, but maybe put that on a shelf or somewhere away from your actual setup. And since you have a wire running under your desk for your headset, a Brainwaves truss hanger would work really well with your setup. But that's all I got, you have a really sweet setup, thank you Loke for entering. Useman is next up with a white and black setup, a 23 inch Samsung monitor, Razer Lycosa gaming keyboard and a death adder chroma mouse on top of the white extended mouse pad from Glorious. We also have a pair of JEC speakers and for some reason an extra set of keyboard and mouse resting near the monitor. Really great job with cable management, good choice on that spiral wrap. I feel like that not only looks a lot better than regular black cables, but it also matches your setup. The PC that's powering the setup is a 5820K paired with a GTX 980 Ti and I'm glad you went with the white sleeves, but please move that GPU to the top PCI slot like I mentioned before, you're not maxing out the performance of that build. Other than removing that extra keyboard and mouse from the desk and maybe grabbing a pair of badass white headphones for your setup, I think that you are pretty much set. Thank you Usman for entering. So that's it for this episode of Setup Wars, you guys know what to do, drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. As always, voting will end Saturday and I'll announce the winner on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram accounts, so make sure you guys are following me there. That's it, thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoy Setup Wars, as always leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.